Even before Tesla Model Y was unveiled, Elon Musk said that he believed that it was going to outsell the entire Tesla lineup, including the Tesla Model S, Model X, and Model 3 combined. And I believe them. I still do. Let me know in the comment section if you agree. There are a few alternatives to the Model Y right now as far as the uh, compact electric SUVs are concerned, but going into the next year, the number of these alternatives will triple and we'll see some really, really interesting new models on the market. And I want to tell you about them right now. Welcome to E4Electric, your number one source of electric car scoop. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. Now, I know what a lot of you are saying, Alex, how dare you? What do you mean, Tesla alternatives? Tesla is the best at everything at all times, and that's fine if you think that that's perfectly fine. This video is just not for you, but... If you are looking for some features and alternatives to some of the things that Tesla Model Y may not offer, well, keep watching. Though I do agree that Tesla does set the standard for the entire industry for uh, making electric cars, there are some things that, that other models do better than a Tesla Model Y. For example, some are cheaper, so pricing is better. Build quality, more available service centers, better customer service. Some just like looks of other vehicles better. Of course, there is brand loyalty and availability. So we are going to talk about all electric, uh, either compact SUV or crossover that are going to be on sale in the United States next year in 2021 and have a range of over 200 EPA rated miles. And I'm going to mainly talk about two specs. One is obviously the range and I will be talking about the best available range for that model and the starting price before the tax incentives or any other incentives here in the United States. So let's start with the Model Y itself. It starts at $49,900, though it does not have the tax credit here in the United States anymore. I know it was supposed to start under 40,000, but for now, that plan is on hold and the cheapest one you can do is 49,900 and it has an EPA range of 316 miles. First, let's start with the three alternatives that have been on the market for a couple of years now. They will still be there next year and we will start with the Jaguar I-Pace. It starts at $71,450, though a lot of Jaguar dealerships do offer pretty heavy discounts on top of the $7,500 tax credit. In some cases, I have seen discounts as big as $20,000, which do include the tax incentives, but it really gets it closer to $50,000, which is a pretty good price for a Jaguar. Next year, there will be a few cool features added to this model, so look out for those, and it will have a range of 253 miles. Another alternative that has been on the market for a couple of years is Hyundai Kona EV. It starts at $37,190 and has a range of 258 miles. Now, most of the time when you hear the EPA range, you usually have to subtract about 20 or 30% from that number to actually get the real world realistic range but not in this case many people have reported not only hitting the epa range but also exceeding especially in the states with a warmer climate and of course kia nero ev that starts at thirty nine thousand and ninety dollars it is a bigger suv than kona ev and it has a range of 239 miles and in this case as well Many Nero EV owners report that they get way more out of the actual real world range than the EPA rating suggests, including owners in my group, my Facebook groups. A lot of them have reported the range of 300 miles on one charge. Unfortunately, both Hyundai and Kia are not really 100% behind these great electric vehicles because they are mainly selling them in ZEV states, which essentially makes them compliance cars. 
All right, all ready to talk about some brand new models that are coming on the market next year. We're gonna do that in just a couple of seconds. Before that, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Candy America. Have you met the most affordable electric car in the US? Check out the K27 for under $10,000 after the federal tax credit or their second model K23 for under 20. Deliveries are starting soon, so reserve yours using the link in the description of this video. And by Climate Exchange, that's right, the Tesla raffle is back. You can win a Tesla of your choice only 4,000 tickets will be sold, so make sure to get yours using the link in the description of this video. And even if you don't win, the money will be going towards a great environmental cause. All right, on with the alternatives to the Tesla Model Y in 2021, and we will start with a Volvo XC40 Recharge. This is a Volvo's first all-electric car with a range of 208 miles. It is a little disappointing, but it is over 200 miles. It will start at $55,500. Obviously, Volvo has a reputation of safe luxury family cars. And for those who want to try this brand's first electric car, this will be a pretty good start. Now, let's talk about the Mercedes EQA. I know you probably haven't heard much about this car because Mercedes hasn't been talking much about this car. We don't know the starting price and we don't really know what the range is going to be, though most suggest it will be 220 EPA miles. Now, I gotta put a big asterisk next to this car because we don't know for sure if this car is actually going to be coming to the United States. As you know, Mercedes has an all-electric SUV EQC that was supposed to go on sale here in the US this year, but they have decided to push it to the next year and even now they have not confirmed if it's actually going to happen. All right, let's move on to Audi Q4 e-tron. And again, Audi has not really been talking about it that much. I haven't been talking about it on this channel, but it is going to be a great electric car moving into the next year. It will start at just $45,000 and it's supposed to have a range of 250 miles. I think Audi will do very well with this model and yes, it will have a sport back version. Now, the next three models that I'm gonna talk about, I believe will be the most popular after the Model Y next year and they will be sold at whatever numbers those automakers will be making them. Let's start with the Nissan Aria. I know it's been a while since they have released the Nissan Leaf, even the second generation Nissan Leaf. So they do have a good experience in making electric cars. However, this one will be a good looking SUV with a range of up to 300 miles but it will only start at $40,000. And of course, when we talk about Nissan electric cars, we gotta address the whole Chatamo situation. And the good news said there is no more Chatamo situation. The Nissan Aria will have a CCS port. Volkswagen ID4, it was just unveiled and I was actually able to check it out in person. I kinda, I kinda have a little crush on it and I do have to admit that I did put my $100 to reserve the first edition, it will start just under $40,000 and will have a 250 mile range. Now, once Volkswagen builds the US-based factory, the starting price will drop to $35,000 in 2022. And of course, the last but definitely not least, I would say that this probably will be the most sold electric SUV in the United States besides Tesla Model Y, and of course, I'm talking about the Ford Mustang Mach E. It will start just under $44,000 and have a range of up to 300 miles. The Ford Mustang Mach E will come in many different variations, which means different packages, different price points, and different range options. So, there you go. These are the 10 all electric compact SUV or crossover vehicles that will be your choices going into the next year. Let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite. I am looking forward to all of your comments and yes, including the Alex Sox and Tesla rules ones. As a matter of fact, if none of you put them in there, I would kind of assume I did something wrong. So have at it. Looking forward to all of that. Other than that, see you guys next time and remember to stay charged.